Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be showing you how to transfer videos, pictures from your iPhone, iPad, or touch to your computer. So what we have to do is go to our photos app. So down here below, you guys will see your photos app look something like this. If you don't have it down here, don't worry about it. We can go in the top right hand corner of your screen and you will see this symbol up here. That's your spotlight search. So just tap in your spotlight search and then type in photos up here. So as long as you guys type in photos, you should have this app right here coming up. So just open that up. So once you open it up, just make sure to hook up your iPhone, iPad up touch to your computer. So you use that USB cable that came with your device. And from there, just go ahead and on your phone or iPad, just unlock it. So make sure you guys can see the screen. That's what I mean by unlocking. As long as you guys do that, your photos app right here should detect your phone or iPad or iPad touch once again. And then we should see devices and then all your pictures coming up. So if I take a look right here, I'm going to see devices and I'm going to see my device. So that's the name that I gave my iPhone at the moment. However, it could be any name for your iPhone, iPad or touch. Again, your screen has to be unlocked. So just make sure you guys can actually view your apps on your device. And that means it's unlocked. So right now, what we have to do in order to import them, we can select any one of these just by clicking on each one of those. Or if you want to import all of them on the top right hand side, you guys will see import all new videos. Now, if you want them to be deleted from your device right after they've been imported to your Mac, so just click right here, check mark, and then it's going to get rid of all your videos and pictures after they've been imported. That's exactly what we're going to do in this case. So up here, right top right hand side, we're going to do import all new videos. It's the same deal if you guys have pictures. So how do we know anything's happening right now? Well, on the top left hand side, we should see this circle. And this circle should be filling up more and more and more. Now, the longer the videos you should see that you guys have, then the longer this will take to import them. If they are only pictures, this will be a lot faster. You might not even get to see the circle, but all your pictures will be imported right away to your Mac. As they get imported, we will see them coming up right here in the bottom. So I can see all my videos have almost been imported. I can see them popping up right here in the bottom of Photos app. And again, the circle up here tells me as well that it's almost done importing them. In just a second, I'm going to show you how to export them from right here, your Photos app. So at this point in time, they are done. They're done importing into our Mac. We can go ahead and view them or just leave them. Right now, you guys can disconnect your iPhone, iPad Touch from your computer since they are done. So we no longer see a circle up here. So that means they are done importing. Plus, we can see all of them down here below. To export any pictures and videos from your Photos app, all we have to do is just select one of them. For example, if you guys want to just export this one, so we can just click on that one. We can go up here on the top right hand side. We're going to see file. Under file, we're going to see export. Under export, we're going to see export unmodified original. That's the way that I recommend exporting anything, whether they're videos or pictures. So right now, we're going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to show you how to do multiple at the time as well, not just one at a time. And we should see this message popping up. Just go ahead on to export. And it's going to ask us where to export at this moment. So what I like to do is just put it on my desktop and then organize it into folders or wherever I want to put it. However, it depends where you guys want to export. Then down here below, we're going to see export originals. Just click right there. So that's the bottom right hand side. And that's it. It just exported it. From there, we can just delete it right here from our Photos app if we want to. If you don't, don't do it. Uh, to delete any picture, it's pretty easy. Or video, we can just press Command Delete on top of it. And then it's going to get rid of it. That's just the fast way to do it. You guys can also right click and delete it. So in order to delete anything from right here, we can just right click and then just delete. It's going to give us the option to delete video. If I want to export several pictures, videos, or all of them for that matter that I'm looking at, then I can just press Command A on my keyboard and it's going to select everything that I'm looking at right here. And then I can go ahead and do the same procedure. However, maybe you guys don't want to 
just select everything. You just want to select a few of them. And so we can just click and drag and then select all of these guys. Now let's say you guys have something bigger than that and you guys can't view it all right here. Well, you guys can also click, for example, on the very first one, press shift, click on your first option. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. Although I'm doing this on my keyboard, so I'm clicking. And before I click, I'm pressing shift on my keyboard. And then I'm gonna select the last picture that I wanted to select. So down here below, shift, click, and it's gonna select all of these guys. So that also works. And if I made a mistake, maybe I didn't want the first one. Well, I can just press command, click, and unselect that image. So you guys can see they have all been selected except for this one. So I can also do that if I don't want to select any particular ones from here, just by pressing command key on my keyboard and then just clicking on that picture. From there, I can go ahead into file and then just export. I find that this is the best way to export. Yes, we can even drag these videos or images that you guys have right here from here to another folder or to your desktop or anywhere. So the dragging works perfect, but it does change things. It's not the same thing as exporting as original. So that's why I always recommend just exporting as original. That way you don't have problems. So in this case, I don't just want to put it on my desktop because it's going to be too many videos. I'm going to choose to create a folder. So I'm going to go ahead and new folder. I'm going to name this folder something like video and then create. Then I'm going to go ahead and export originals. And that's it. They've been exported. So on the top right hand side, I should see this export complete. So before back in the day with iPhoto or photos app included, this should t this would take forever and I never recommended doing anything in photos app. However, now finally Apple improved it and it makes it really, really fast to export pictures or videos from your photos app. At this point in time, I can just check, go into my desktop or look up the folder and I should see all my videos there. So here are all my videos. I can also check by right clicking and just making sure that they're the full size. So right here, I can check by dimensions and I can make sure that it didn't export in fact at the highest resolution that it can and nothing has been changed. So we just wanna close this up. Once again, all I did was on this video, for example, right click and then all I did was select get info. So that's what I did right now just to make sure everything's okay. Anyways, that would be it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.